y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What's the business, y'all? This be your boy, Scatter by Nature TV, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess. And we're here to talk about Candy Burris and Wanye Morris of Boys to Men. Now, I'm going to give you a brief summary of this before we get into the article, in my opinion, and y'all's opinion, and everything else around it, honey, okay? So, y'all already know we're here for the mess, so we're going to get to the mess. So, um, obviously, Candy did an interview with Eddie LeVert. They asked her about her experience as a writer and a producer, and they asked about who was the worst person to work with. And she talked about boys to men briefly, and she gave her opinion on them and moved on. One day felt some kind of way about it, and he responded, okay? So, when I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give y'all the article which comes from none other than the Jasmine brand which is where I get all of my information from shout out to the Jasmine brand okay I always gotta cite my sources every time and um, I'm gonna read the article give you my opinion and then you leave yours below so let's get into the article Candy Burris is sharing her experience of working with boys to men in the studio although the name Candy Burris has recently in time oh shit although the name Candy Burris has recently incited memories of her long-running stint on the Housewives of Atlanta. The Escape member recently went to Instagram Live to speak on her experiences in the music industry. While meeting up with Eddie LaVert of the OJs and his daughter on IG Live, Candy Burris began chatting with them about her various projects, including her experience as a Grammy Award-winning songwriter. Candy won Best R&B Song in 1999 for pinning No Scrubs for TLC. During the Instagram Live, Eddie LaVert asked Candy if she can reveal who was the easiest to work with out of the plethora of artists on her resume. Candy answers, I've had a lot of great people that were easy to work with. Once we got into the flow of things, this, this child was easy to work with. It was just that initial getting to know each other phase. And you know... Once we got cool with each other, that was amazing. <laughs> Let me not steal Boris Rocks Mojo, but God damn it, I try to get my best Candy Burris imitation. <laughs> TLC, I mean, I had a great relationship. Even after No Scrubs, I worked with them again on their next album. So they are like, you know, one of my favorite artists to work with. In response to Candy's answer, Eddie LaVert then inquires about who was the most difficult artist or group to work with. Candy immediately responds stating, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. It ain't no love loss. I mean, this is a hundred years later, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, I had a bad experience in the studio with Boys to Men. She continues, I don't think I've ever been disrespected like that before in the studio in my life. It was crazy, really. But at the end of the day, that was a long time ago because clearly, you know, we've moved past that or whatever. And he then provided additional context to explain why the less than pleasant exchange with boys to men was strange. Claiming, it was kind of weird for me. We were friends prior. Well, some of us were cool. I knew a few of them. We had hung out a few times prior to being in the studio working together. So it was kind of unexpected to me that working together would have had that result. It wasn't a good situation. However, Wanye Morris of Boys to Men responded to Candy's allegations and claimed that the disconnect stemmed from different approaches to collaborative work. After claiming that Candy's story is untrue, Wanye Morris states that the incident in question occurred over disagreements about how songwriting responsibilities should be divided up. But whatever. He explains, We've been taught, you write a song, yeah, you split songwriting credits down the middle. That way there's no discrepancies. We're from the old school. We're from the, hey, you write a lyric, I write a lyric. It's really about just building the, this whole thing together. Allegedly, Candy felt as though the splits in songwriting credits for good guys should be reevaluated because she was the one who pinned the hook. Resultingly, she will receive additional writing, songwriting credits and royalties. After sharing his side of the story, Wanye Morris claims, I have nothing bad to say about Candy. It's just that we work different. However, mere moments later, 
One Ye states that Candy is now mainly known for her TV roles in escape reunions rather than her songwriting, referring to her artistry as being in a dormant season. One Ye also claims Candy can't get on here and sing better than Jana Brown. She can't get on here and sing better than um, whoever the fuck that was, but I respect her opinion and I respect what she says. Candy has not responded to One Ye's comments. What are your thoughts on Candy's allegations against boys to men and One Ye Morris's response? Comment down below and let us know and let me know too, hun. Okay, so this is my opinion on this whole little situation, okay? Now, let's just be all the way real. This ain't the first time anybody, anybody, any producer, any songwriter, this isn't the first time anybody has said that they had a less than pleasant experience with boys to men. This is not the first time any of us have ever heard that in our life. Like, Babyface said he had a horrible experience, and so did Dallas Austin. And Dallas Austin actually said way more damaging things about boys to men than Candy ever did. Now, the way that I see this as, because before I even get into what I see it as, you know, you got people, because I've been reading this shit all damn day, people have been like, oh, y'all act like Candy is innocent. Y'all act like she can't do no wrong. She attacked him first. She attacked him first. So when he attacks back, it's a problem. That was not, that, like, that whole statement that she made about them was hardly a fucking attack. Like, like, let's just keep it real. If you don't like Candy Burris, just say that, okay? Because some of y'all just be looking for a reason just to make her look bad. And in this instance, she really did not look bad. All she said was that it wasn't a great experience. That asked her who was her favorite artist to work with, who was the easiest to work with, and who was the hardest. And they were the hardest, and that's just what it is. She didn't bash them. She didn't even shade them. She just said that she had never been disrespected before in her life the way that she was in the studio with Boys to Me. She didn't call them out their names or nothing like that. And she even said they've moved past it, but that's what happened. He want to get on here and try to make it seem like she ain't done shit since, um, since she wrote No Scrubs or whatever. Candy recently wrote a song with, um, for Ariana Grande. It wasn't that a huge hit and she got a big ass royalty check from it. I mean, one yay, let's just keep it all the way real with you right here. Boys to Men was a great group. Let's not front. They were a great group. One of the best R&B groups of the 90s. Some of the best vocals in the 90s. But let's just be real. You want to talk about what can, uh, what has Candy done lately. And she ain't been working since back in the gap when she won her Grammy for No Scrubs. What the hell have you been doing? Where's Boys to Men? What the hell have y'all been doing? Y'all y'all haven't had an album out that I know of since y'all came out with their Full Circle album. That was the last album that y'all had that most people even knew about and didn't nobody buy the shit. They didn't even buy the, the one before that. The one that had my song on there. Don't have to stay with someone that makes you cry. You're in the killing of the love you have inside. Head home to see the sun if you don't open your eyes. Girl, don't let real love pass you by. That was my song, and nobody wanted to hear it. So all I got to say about that is, one yeah, you cannot speak on what nobody's doing musically when you ain't done yourself nothing musically. And at the end of the day, it just is what it is. At Like, she was just trying to let y'all know how she worked, and that's just what it is. And then for you to bring up the fact that you was only here to write on a song because Shakespeare was your man, what the fuck they got to do with it? At the end of the day... She was an accomplished song songwriter when it came down to writing for you, okay? No Scrubs was big, big, big. It don't matter what you say. It was bigger than anything that y'all had out at that particular moment. Because from my understanding, she wrote on the Nathan, Wanye, Sean, and, and uh, Michael album. The 2000 album with the song that I just sung from. And that album didn't do shit. Like, around that time, she had No Scrubs, she had Bills, 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 she had Bugaboo, she had There You Go With Pink. Like, she had a whole lot of songs out at that time that was bigger than anything that y'all were doing at the time. So, while you saying that all she got is Escape reunions, at least Escape was able to take um, a sold-out tour with them, Monica and Tamar, and, and do damage with it. When was the last time Boys to Men had a tour that sold out? When was the last time Boys to Men had a reunion that was... 
uh, very much so uh, anticipated. Because when Escape came back together back in 2017, they was all over the place performing. They was on Good Morning America performing. They was on BET Awards performing. When has anybody asked y'all to perform on, on national television as of lately? Okay. Now, this is not to take anything away from Boys and Men at all because y'all are talented. Y'all y'all have some of my favorite songs from the 90s. But Candy isn't the first person that said something about you guys being hard to work with. Dallas Austin fucking said it and so did Baby face but y'all ain't said shit to them but y'all want to come for the woman though y'all want to go for the you want to go for the woman and be a diva and snap your fingers and shit like i do and be a bitch about it that's what you want to do but i mean i haven't really looked at you the same since you discussed your sex life with brandy on the breakfast club bad enough she went number 16 and you was damn near 10 years her fucking singing you out here fucking on her and then you decide to go on the breakfast club and try to embarrass her and talk about she was old enough to get it she was this she was that like, but you a bitch anyway, so that's just what it is. So, what you can do, because you ain't doing shit right now, at least Candy has other streams of income outside of the music and reality TV. What the fuck you got going on besides putting your talented ass kids on Instagram, making them sing? And it sounds good. I love to hear your kids sing, but that's all you're doing. What what the fuck else you got going on? Okay, nothing. Okay, so you don't need to speak on nobody else's career. Boys to me have been over for a long motherfucking time now, and that's just what it is. Doesn't take away from the success from the past, but don't sit up here and try to dog somebody else's career out as if you got one right now. Shoot, okay? Now, with that being said, you guys, that was my take on Candy Burris versus Wayne Morris, the boys to men. What are your thoughts? Leave it below. Let's talk about it respectfully. Everybody has the right to state their opinion, but please do not come for me about mine. Put yours down below, and we can keep it moving. Okay, with that being said, you guys, this is me, your boy, Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Be sure to follow me on all social media, which will be at the bottom of my Twitter, and my Instagram will be at the bottom of the video. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Until my next video, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.